Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Fire Emblem Three Houses PMU, or Pick My Units. It's a, it's a different way to take things after a randomizer, but I think this will be fun all the same. My units that I am going to be using in this run have been chosen by you guys in an intro video done last week. And you guys are going to have a fun time deciding the path that we go down with each of these students. The God damn it. You guys are going to be deciding the path that my students go down, what cur what curriculum lies ahead for them. And I will explain that a little bit more as we go. I'm going to start this up. It is a new game. Of course, we are doing no new game plus. Blah, blah, blah. I do not care about new game plus. I do not have any amiibos. Do I want to put create a new game plus a file? No, thank you. We are, of course, doing this on Maddening because... Not only am I crazy for giving you guys all the power, I'm also just dumb. Classic. <laughs> for forced me to reset mode. Connect to network play online? Nah, I wouldn't need the bonuses. I am ready. I am a glutton for punishment. I am willing, prepared to dive in, do whatever it takes to complete this, because I like to play Fire Emblem in dumb hard ways for no reason, because it's entertaining. Also, I'm going to be pretty light on the story since I assume it's mostly surrounded by the interest of the PMU itself. Though I will, of course, you know, stop by and say hi, maybe host a tea party or so? We'll have to see. Yes, yeah, so, so if this is bored with the explanation already. Well, that's going to be a little too bad because a lot more talking is about to happen soon. They're trying to meet me. Hello. Of course, we're playing as female Byleth. If any of you ever catch me playing as male Byleth, you better slap me because I have gone insane. I hate male Byleth. I hate him so much. I think he looks awful. I I love me some female Byleth, though. She looks great. I I don't get the complaint with the eyes. I, I, I don't know. I watch a lot of anime. Leave me alone. I watch a lot. Of, I don't know. I watch a lot of anime. What do you want me to say? I'm, I'm, I'm a demon. I'm a demon. Do not deceive. You do well demon for big eyes. I'm only human, I'm sorry. I'm not powerful enough. Ah, I've been thinking about this. Do we want to be pilot there? I, okay, so I don't see myself as like the self insert that you're supposed to be with these characters and Byleth's not even like particularly like a super well self insert. It's more like a P4, P5 protagonist. They kind of have their own thing going on. So I'm going to leave it as is. By live. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must Thank you, so this. Yes, I know. This is the same name you always go with. You're never tired of it somehow. I understand. We're going to put in a my birthday. Uh, month 12. Day 2. <laughs> date. Fuck! Month 9. Day 12. Horsebow Moon. Of course. Write it down. Well, the ninth day of Horsebow this? Moon. Yep. And that's when Sophie is born, canonically. Of course. I can't believe I fell for that as a kid. <laughs> as a kid? Holy schmoly, I am I'm a little nervous today. I don't know what's up with me. Um when I first played this, I was like, oh, same birthday as no way. Like my brain <laughs> clearly not mental capacity with new shiny thing, because you know, day one excitement and all that. Time to wake up. I don't wanna hear it, grandpapa. Grand grandpapa daddy. Big daddy Gerald. Don't mind all these saves. Don't mind all these saves. <laughs> We're starting a fresh save mending mode. We're just going to be hopping right into it. We are going to meet the crew. Meet the DK crew. The lords. Come on, loading. Practice your tech skill. There you go. Makes it go faster. Scrimmish at dawn. Prologue. An inevitable encounter. There they are. The goons. Let's take care of those dun, 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 before they dun, 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 overrun the village. Take down the enemy. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you. You're so helpful. All right. Now that we are in, let us take a moment to look at our first character, Miss... Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Miss Byleth herself. She is... A little average. A little average across the board. She's pretty good at everything. A little a little weak in the magic arts, but not even terrible by some people's standards. <coughs> Grid. Um 
She's average, 45, 45, 45s. You, all across the board, like, pretty good strength and speed that can be built up by putting in her more physical class. Magic wouldn't be too terrible if she's classed into a bishop, a mortal savant, what what have you. Wouldn't be bad. Uh, she does, Her defenses are not... I mean, like, they're just a little bit less than average. She does struggle, though, with a smidge, but I don't think this character can particularly go wrong with anything. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you look at her, she doesn't have any weak any skill rank weaknesses. Uh, she's good at authority, sword, fist, brawling, however you will. She has budding talent in white magic. She gets white magic avoid when she gets enough tutoring in it, which grants her plus 20 avoid when using white magic, so pretty good if you want to get her in a magic-based class. Her special class is very powerful for that. Her personal skills, something she only gets. Professor's Guidance, it, it's just good experience. Get you good experience, allies get experience, it's good. She has her own personal major crest of flames. Uh, she has a 20% chance to restore HP equal to, to damage dealt. She has 25% chance to stop you from counterattacking. It's good. It's pretty, it, it, like, it, it, it's just a little benefit here and there. And here are some of the arts that she learns. Here's some. Here's her spell list, here are arts, these are the things that she'll get if she trains in these specific uh, weapons. If she trains in reason, she's gonna go down and get these spells at these levels. Fire, Thunder, B Baloney, Ragnarok, Ragnarok's pretty strong, so is Bologna. Uh, thunder and Fire, you know, basic spells, it's fine, it's whatever. Healing's not bad, Nosferatu, uh, heal, pretty standard recoveries, yeah, fine. She doesn't get Physic, which makes her kind of weak at... You know, uh, the range heal is very powerful, especially with how much you can move in this game with stride and such. And doors, yeah, pretty good damage. Uh, her sword, she gets Bane of Monsters, a good, you know, effective damage with any weapon against monsters. Uh, wind sweep, pretty good, I would say, against boss characters. It stops them from attacking. Like, not good, like, pretty good if you just want to chip at them multiple times with no repercussions. Very helpful later. Brawling, uh... I could see Mystic Blow being more useful. That was with my hands, by the way. <laughs> I could see Mystic Blow being more useful on other characters, like if like Cynthia got this or whatever, but Byleth's strength and magic are so comparable, I don't think it matters too much. And if it's something like an Armor Knight, you probably would just have a hammer because of the way Three Houses is. And Draining Blow, eh, it's okay. I, I don't like that it doesn't double, especially when it's, you know, fist weapon. That's kind of a... I don't like that a lot. But that's how it is. Now, I'm going to take another minute, a lot of talking, I warned you guys, to explain how the voting process is going to go down. You guys, in the comments, are going to put down the class path. You're going to put down a beginner class, an intermediate class, an advanced class, and a master class. You can, if you want to, Give a little title, give a little flair, maybe give it a little description of what you're trying to go for, of, like things you'd slap on there to make it, like, the build work, or just for fun, or however your thought process worked. Whatever. Those are, those are pretty optional, but put the class path down. Basic, intermediate, advanced, master class. Put them down, and then vote. If you see one you like. And, and don't just vote. You can vote multiple times. I don't care that much. You can vote for whoever. But see when you like, give it a thumbs up in comments. Simple as that. Most thumbs up gets that as the build that we're going to be going down. I'm going... Byleth will only become the classes that you say she'll become for the most voted one. Simple as that. Uh, I record every... Mm, I record Mondays and Fridays... So everyone gets about two days worth of time to vote because videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Uh, and two days is mostly, you know, the max amount of time that, uh, or like the bulk period that viewers are going to see episodes. So I think that's fair. Um, after those two days, the whatever comment with the bill with the most votes, that's the path that pilot's going down. It's kind of as simple as that. There are some exceptions to that though or some caveats to it I guess uh, if you only want to go to an advanced class that's fine you can do that I've like the debate is there back and forth whether people like advanced or mastery classes more like snipers very much more favored as opposed to bow knight so you can do that 
you can you can replace a master class with an advanced class. So I could so Byleth could be like Wow, I wish I had these off the top of my head. But Byleth could be beginner, intermediate, advanced, advanced. So it could be like sniper to warrior or what have you. I can't exactly remember the advanced ones. I really wish I looked those up beforehand. Or you can just uh, have just one advanced class, just three classes total. It has to end in either advanced or master class is what I'm saying though. Beginner and intermediate classes are are required, but the last two ending parts, those are up for a little more creativity. Just, you know, give you guys a little more wiggle room with, you know, with how you want to go with it. So two advanced classes or one advanced class or advanced class master class, those are options. DLC classes count as advanced classes for the purpose of this run. So the previous rule applies and any other rules I come up with along the way also apply. Cool? Dancer is on the table, but once it's chosen for someone, it's no longer on the table because we can't get more than one, obviously. This will count as an advanced class, but you can't class into another advanced class or the master class. It ends there. You can have an advanced class beforehand if you want to like pick up a skill for me to master to get to it, that's fine too. Now, last little thing before I play the game. <laughs> There are some limitations I'm placing upon myself for the purpose of this run. If we, Firstly, if we recruit a unit past the time that those classes are relevant, say we recruit someone and they're already in an advanced class, like uh, Catherine or Shamir, what have you, uh, I will go back and master the beginner and intermediate classes before... Like, I will do... Oh my god. <laughs> That's how long I've been talking. I will go do... I'll, I'll do it in order, is what I'm saying, basically. I'll master them, and that allows me to have access to all their skills, because if people were picking them for getting the skills for the purpose of a build they had in mind to have fun with, I figured I would do that. Uh, I will do them in order. I won't not... Like, I will do it in order. I will master it before I move on to the next one, is what I'm saying. I will do the end. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess the other thing is that I will only use weapons of the current class that the character is in. So if Byleth's an archer, Byleth can only use bows. If Byleth is an armor knight, they can only use axes. And I think fists? I don't actually remember if they get uh, access to them. And I don't mean access in like the normal access, because in this game you, you can use any weapon you want access. I mean in the class screen. If I can even pull that up right now, I don't think I can. But in the class screen, it tells you the weapons that are beneficial to the unit, or like they get extra weapon skill rank as they use the weapon. Those are the only weapons that I'm allowed to use when I'm in each class. Make sense? I'll I'll uh, I'll probably refresh it when I'm there. I also kinda am not going to. <laughs> be dumb and lock myself out. If a unit is a magic unit with no magic rank, say they have E rank, and you guys are like, oh, da, ba, ba, make make Byleth a magic unit, and she has E rank and she can't do anything, uh, uh, I'm going to use a weapon until she can get <laughs> enough rank to have a spell, even if it's heal. Even if it's only heal, that's it. I, I'll use only heal. I will not use any other weapon. I will only use what her class gives her and obviously this like not even beginner class this uh, the commoner class what have you uh, kind of doesn't count I know there's technically five classes but <laughs> this last you to level five that's kind of blue I, I don't count I don't count this at all uh, since everyone's gonna be classing at a level five immediately so there's that also if I have like five healers I'm going to use weapons I don't think you guys will be that mean but you never know right right okay I think that's everything I think that's everything <sighs> we also have had our house chosen long before in Prince Dimitri we will give him a minute before we talk about him but he is the only other unit that I have right now that I'm going to be using the units have been chosen already like I said and I'm only allowed to use them Makes 
sense, right? I feel, I, I feel like I didn't explain that earlier. And, uh, the units picked, which we'll get to when we get to, are the only units I'm allowed to use, so... Ready and uh, Claude, Edelgard, no longer units available to me, so I'm just going to trade their stuff off and put them in the bench. Or, just sit here. I will prevail. Ooh, Joy-Con Drift. Ooh, Joy-Con Drift. I'm going to take their stuff off, and it's just going to be me and Dimitri, Stay which fast. I am fine with. I am fine with the... Oh, the schmoly, so much damage. Dimitri, can you one-shot this guy? Can you? Oh, my... All right, let's, uh... Hey. Oh, I can just do that. Oh, I'm going to turn animations off very quickly. I'm not the biggest fan of animations, and this game can take up some time already without it. Uh, I think I can talk and attack. Yes, yes, I'm, yes, I'm that great. I know, I know. Also, if we have a unit and their build hasn't been decided yet, I'm just going to use them as is. And not worry about any weapon rank things until they've been decided. Because, what am I supposed to do? Just walk at them? Let Gerald kill all of them? That doesn't seem fair. Like, I gotta give myself some chance. I'm going to get Dimitri in there, because he is a strong boy. Uh, yes. Yes, yes! Use the terrain, Dimitri! Oh my god, you're so good at the game! And that's it, we just use the two of them, and we're just gonna clean house. Slowly but surely. I should probably already want to turn off animations. <laughs> it's just how I play it, I do this is how I do. Oh, really? Really? Oh boy. Oh, my luck is already gonna happen, isn't it? This game is gonna. Whew. Eight missing eight fours out here. Gerald, don't talk to me right now. I'm doing things. Uh, I guess I want to kill a full health guy with Dimitri since he just clobberizes them. This is fine. As <laughs> training these two up will be a big help. It's, as I've heard from a lot of people, I technically haven't finished the Blue Lions, but as I've heard, Dimitri is a baller unit. He does some damage. Maybe not to that guy. Maybe not if he misses everyone. Every, all the time. Dimitri, please don't, please don't make this your character trait for this playthrough. Buddy, pal, you can, you can do this. I believe in you. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, I guess we're doing it like this. Oh, I'm going to make great use of this. Thank you. Nice Tempest Lance. You all keep them on for the rest of the prologue. It shouldn't matter. Guy, please. Uh, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to start and learn the boss away. The boss? Learning the boss in. This is fine. I kind of want to give this kill to Byleth. I I play very balanced. I love playing very balanced. Attack. Everyone around the same level. That's how you know it's good. Yee. That is that. Thank you, Byleth. You're so cute. Do you want to teach me after class? Do these give 10? Yeah, these are 10. I've, I've been playing Radiant. A lot of Radiant Dawn in my blood. Vulneraries are much better in those games. <laughs> Damn, this little girl's pretty tough. Gerald, no, these are my kills. Get away, get away. 51. Yeah, go after Byleth. She's defenseless, you could never hurt her, or you could easily defeat hey, her. That's so mean. I like Byleth. Don't be mean to her like that. Fuck you, Karnov, Kostav, Kostis, Weenie, Weenie Hut Jr. Ow. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to be doing that much damage. Are you... Everyone is hitting below 50. Is un... What the... Gerald, kill that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Good first strike. Good job. How's this look? I'm giving this kill to buy the... Yeah, Woo! Oh! Well, that happened! Okay, just kidding, I'm giving this kill to the Dimitri. 
Ooh, speed. Ooh, he needs speed help. That is good. He'll get stronger yet. Okay. And I got an iron axe. Okay. I'm okay with that. I said okay. Uh, four times, including that time just now. Awesome. I'm that aware of my surroundings, but I still can't say straight sentences. Nice. Oh, so... Oh, Morgana. Thank you. Yes, yes. I'm cool. Oh. Oh, thank you for the time warp. I kill Kostev, but I don't actually. I leave him... Did you yeah, I use Divine Pulse. Uh, how do you know that? The Knights of how do you Zeros know that? We'll I feel like you, you shouldn't that. know that. You uh, Like, you knew about Rhea's evil shit, but I feel like you shouldn't know about the, the abilities that this ancient off. god gives me. I don't... Uh, I, Gerald? Uh, Bubby? Friend? Daddy? Dad? Dado? Hello? Yeah, uh, you're gonna see that one a lot. Uh... Did a lot of talking. Let's get a little bit further. Captain Jones. A, a lot a bit further. We can. We're making. Look, I we're making leaps and bounds. I feel like there's an option here that's like, oh man, Dimitri, you are so strong. That would be too true. Everything. Or is it? No, it's just so the sink. Do you want to know more about the handsome prince? Which I mean, we'll get to know him just fine. Just fine. Oh, I'm excited to look at the supports together with you guys. I'm going to skip the story, but the supports... Eight hours of supports is where it's at. White clouds. Tree houses. The continent of Fodlan. Fodlan is big and made out of many units. Most of those units are not good. Those are called commoners. Your commoners, though, however, can it's be not you. commoners. And when they're not commoners, they're big, strong. I've never... And if they're big, strong, they have good number. And that number do good against their number. <sighs> I'm sorry, I drink. Is everyone keeping up? That I mean, that's the story, right? Power rules everything. Power is religion. Uh, no. <laughs> so if this, uh, Sarah's strong, worship, because strong. Gotta practice wave dashing. I always wonder if people do want to see these for the story. Maybe if I was just doing like a more casual one, not a uh, randomized one. Also, I do want to say though, real quick, I do love this uh, happy little song. Wow, that's al already my patience is being tried. <laughs> I have no patience. <laughs> Uh, walk over there and let the cutscene play. I'm I'm in my head right now. I'm a little in my head. I'm sorry. <sighs> this is a nice little preview, as we get to see the possible units that may join our little merry band of fun-loving, stupid idiots <laughs> on our quest for fun and memes. Oh, Raphael. Oh man, oh my god. Oh my god, Leone's in this house too. I love the golden deer. <laughs> They're like the best house on average. Uh, ew. Ew too. Ew! Nah, yeah, yeah, that's my boy actually. <gasps> that's my boy! That's my Caspar. She's okay. Uh, I, I, don't go, I go back and forth on her. Oh, it's her! It's her! No one look, I'm embarrassed. No one look. Oh, it's so. <laughs> It's a good duo. Ingrid's clearly the weaker half of that duo. Not gonna. I'm, I'm spin truth. Spin truth. This is a good dynamic too. These three, pretty good. Yes, I know they all have their interpersonal connection. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. All right, and definitely don't need to look at her anymore. And we have reached I you are the longest part of the game, the walk around uh, phase. We're going to speak to the team leaders, view the quest. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, that was that wasn't even recording problems. That was literally the game itself. Ooh, that was that was spicy. Golly. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, talk to Edelgard. So, Luckily, I don't have to go over I units or like I hope you've had a chance to do anything anyone. besides this. Wait. So, oh I shit. Never, do I have to I say yes? I hope you've had a chance to meet have I forgotten how this quest works? I'm just going to talk. Yes. Hey. Yep. All right. Very good. Very nice. Yep. Understood. What the fuck? Why does she still have that above her head? I'm moving on. I could have sworn it was literally just talk to them. We have the officers' academy. This. This is cute. 
textures are little. Whatever. Well, hey, Claude. I'm Hello. I'm guessing, have you met the Hello, my handsome prince. How are you? Care to know yes, I would love to know. Yes, obviously. <laughs> awesome, you are great. That'll complete the quest, probably. There he is. The one and only. Please accept my apologies for the other day. I am you are all good, good, my lord. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue different houses? Catch your attention? Like all three of the houses? Oh my! How did you know? Me? Oh, um. Please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I do like how bashful he is at first. This is nice. Lord Dimitri House Fargus. He is a definitely physical built type of unit. 60% strength, 50 speed, 40 defense. He is built. 55 red, 55 cha. He he does it all physically, which I means everyone's going to make him a magic unit. Go ahead. I see you. He's got he's got boons and authority, swords, lances. Also, if I haven't explained this before, when I teach him, you know what, I'll explain that part later. He has he has weaknesses. You know, <laughs> I'm so nervous for no reason. He has boons, authority, sword, lance. When I teach him later in, in the game, he will get extra points because he is good at learning those type of things. He is bad at learning reason and axes. Not great at those. He has a budding talent in horses. If I teach him enough to ride a horse, he will get seal movement. A very bad skill. A very bad skill. If he damages a unit, minus one move. Very bad. Don't recommend. Not great. Personal skill, royal lineage, just more XP. Works for me. I think it's decks with pilots? Don't actually know. Couldn't couldn't actually be bothered to look that up. He has the minor crest of Oh god. B Badalin? But ba did some ba Badalin. Ba Babylon. The Minor Crest of Babylon. 10% chance, double the attack, and weapon uses for combat arts, which we saw as he obliterated the boss. Absolutely 100% obliterated. Pretty helpful. Actually, no, it's not the most helpful. Crest abilities are not the most helpful. They're kind of overkill. Also, he'll get no benefit if he uses magic. Hint. Wink. Please. Please be gentle. His spell list, a little pathetic. He gets Thunder and Thoron. Thoron is a uh, 1-3 range spell, which is pretty good, I guess. But that, two spells is not great. Not great. His his Faith spell list is actually identical to Biolith's, which was kind of weird to me. I don't know how I felt about that. He's got Sword and Lance abilities. He's got Sunder. Sunder is okay. This is higher crit. Wind Sweep still pretty good on Biolith. Like I said, if it's good on her, it's good on him. It's good on everyone because stopping a boss and doing a big chunk of damage... Good for chipping. Good for free chip. Monster Piercer on Lance, same as uh, Monster Slayer on Swords, good against Beasts, and Glowing Ember, the thing that I think makes him broken in later parts of the game, might increase based on user's defense, and he has a 40% growth, so he can pick up a spear and then put down a person. <laughs> I think he's going to be doing that no matter what type of physical unit we give him. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm going over two units this episode. Guess what? You guys get to make two sets of comments, if you want. Uh, make sure to pick a name, post the name in the comments as well for the person. You can make, you could make a build for each of them, it doesn't matter. Uh, I suggest only doing, like, one for each. I, I, I guess you can do two for each, or three for each, or one for Byleth and two for Dimitri, or however. Uh, kind of spreads your votes out. Well, it kind of just spreads out. I guess it is more chances. You know what? One vote. Or, uh, one per character. Only one per character. Got it? Guys, one build per character. Cool? Cool. But, put a name next to the person before their build. Obviously, class restrictions apply based on gender and whatever else. Well, it's mostly just gender. And I'm gonna do my best to complete them. Or get them down that path. All right, obvious and obviously if they can't like if you give me an illegal build I'm just and it gets the most votes. I'm not gonna accept them. I'm just gonna go to the next one So that is what that is Cool cool. All right, 
I think we're just about done with the first episode. There was a lot of talking, a lot to get out of the way. Probably should have done all that talking during the intro sequence, because literally nothing was happening. Uh, except Dimitri missing. A lot. A whole lot. I don't know why he can't hit anything. It's the first episode. We are going to go with the Blue Lions next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses PMU. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a good day. Thank you.